It isn't my place to tell a rapper what they should or shouldn't do. Try to limit their creativity by telling them what would be inappropriate for a rap album. But I could think of a few suggestions. Clipping is the debut full-length album by Clipping, an experimental hip-hop group heralded for pushing the boundaries of the genre. Personally, I found the album to be a chore to listen to the whole way through, and I probably never would have checked it out if it wasn't specially requested to. I will admit that I was at least a little interested in every track, and I was eager to see what the next song had to offer, but most of the time I found myself more annoyed than impressed. While the breath control on some of these tracks is some of the best I've heard in quite a while, and the unusual samples set the album apart from other recent releases, there are a handful of songs that ruin the album for me. Let's start off by listening to the intro track. I should probably warn you that, uh, at least some of you will probably find the song to be at least a little annoying, so, uh, I'll give you a second to either lower your volume or, uh, take your headphones off. Don't worry, I'll be here. Ghosts on the avenue were talking to themselves. Somebody been selling them dreams again. Breathe again. The breeze is full of trees again. The beast buried under the streets is about to leave the den of thieves and hooligans ready to fettuccine the noodles of any cook looking new to the spoken word is weak. Scream, motherfucker, dreams are cheap. You ain't even gotta sleep. Don't sleep. It's clipping, bitch. Hey, dude, you mind if I what? At least they had the decency to get that out of their system and out of the way early, and there isn't anything that loud or obnoxious for the rest of the album, but without knowing that during my first listen through, I was on edge, unsure if it was gonna happen again, so I really couldn't relax. And I'm being 100% serious here. I felt like I was trying to watch a video on April Fool's Day, worried that at any moment Linda Blair's exorcist face would pop up on the screen and scream at me. Music is supposed to calm you, not make you tense! While the intro is the most grating on the album, it is also a really good example of the flow the group is capable of. Find me an acapella version of that song and I'll throw it on my iPod today. Like I said, Clipping is an experimental hip-hop group, so it goes without saying that the songs may be a little unusual, different than what you're used to. You can't really go into this album expecting, well, really anything you've heard before, that is if you're new to the experimental scene. The album is untraditional, and while it is exciting to see such changes made to an established genre, at times it went a little too far for my taste. For example, like I said, the sample work on the album is one of its main takeaways, but they come at the expense of traditional hip-hop beats. Or any hip-hop beats, for that matter. That isn't the case with all of the tracks, as some of them are poppier and more danceable than others, but then there's songs like Get Up. No work, no food, still eating off paper plates. Banana clip is a paperweight, paper mate. Tally how you're married to the game. She fucking everybody, but you still put a ring on it. On it, keep it 100. I would love to say that Clipping are testing the limits of hip-hop and seeing how far they can push the envelope, but they're really not. Besides the samples and the use of feedback, they're still rapping about the same old shit and not much is being said with the lyrics. They're taking it one step at a time as to not alienate their audience completely, which is smart, but I do think there are people out there that are ready for a complete departure from what they've come to expect from rap. Like I said, I'm not up to that stage yet. I like change but there are some elements of rap I'd rather not see go away, like the aforementioned beats. However, like I said, I do think the lyrics could use some shaking up. It's weird. Despite how different everything else on the album sounds, the songs are still about getting pussy and other bullshit radio rap tropes. It's tolerable in most tracks, but then there's Tonight, featuring Gangsta Boo 3-6 Mafia. This song is dog shit. It absolutely kills the album's momentum, and all but negates all the enjoyable shit the album had going for it up until this point. It sounds like mainstream rap, but it's not at all satirical. So, what is this? Clipping's attempt at a radio single? What, what's your fantasy? Ass like Trina, face like B. Ante, Ante, your story, try to whip her fly ass free. My inner hipster really wanted to love this album. He wanted to run all the way up to Noda, tell everyone to press pause on the Space Jam VHS, 
hit eject on the Death Grip CD, crack open a PBR, and give this a listen, but I can't say I was completely bowled over. Then again, I wasn't expecting I would be, as I did hear their debut EP when it came out, so this wasn't my first experience listening to the group. If you've never heard them before, Clipping's debut full-length album is at least worth checking out. You can stream two of the tracks on their fan camp, and while they're not the best songs on the album, they'll at least give you a feel of what they're about. I wouldn't go ahead and call myself a fan, but I do appreciate their skill and their attempt to bring something new to the table. I think with some minor tweaks, like omitting the loud noises and rapping about more diverse topics, and trying to display an identity through their lyrics, well, I can see myself coming around. Well, that about does it for this first ever Patreon edition Muse Reviews. Hope you liked it, and if you liked it so much that you would like to see me review an album you request, be it pop, rap, or rock, since that's really the only three genres I ever review, head over to my Patreon page and consider dropping 20 bucks, and uh, send me a personal message, and I'll give you a name drop like I did old William, Mr. L-Man. I hope I'm saying that right. Elman? Elman? William Elman? William Ann? Billman? Billman? Brian Pillman?